Hi again. Here's our character, who I've called Zandala. In the last video about the quest for Iona in her house, I mentioned at the end of the video that I wanted to come back and kill some more rats and the rest of the snakes in the basement when my attack and defense were a little bit better to be able to cope with it. So I just thought I'll explain to you what that means. I'm gonna go back into the dungeon first. So in this game, you earn an experience point when you kill a creature. And you earn more experience points depending on how high level the creature was, basically how strong it was compared to you. So this little rat, I just got four experience points for. And there was another player who helped me kill it and he got one experience point. It's distributed depending on how much damage we both did. So as you can see, I'm earning more and more experience points. And as I earn more experience points, my character should level up. Here's my experience points and the corresponding level. <laughs> Fantastic advert there from another player. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, sorry, the number in brackets here is what's remaining in order for me to level up next. So it said two just before I leveled up to level two in the brackets. And now it says 97 because I need 97 more points for me to level up to level two. Bless him, I don't think he'll hear me there. Anyway, so at the same time as I fight creatures, if they're a creature that hurt me, then I'll actually also start to improve my attack and my defense skills while I fight. So if you see, this little rat is causing me damage, and each time he causes me damage, the number in brackets, like actual damage, should go down. Here we go. The number in brackets is going down because I'm actually earning defense points from him. And in a few more points, my main defense level will actually go up. So instead of having a defense level of 10, I'll have a defense level of 11. I'm just letting this rat attack me here for the demonstration. In fact, I'm just going to go down to another level where more things attack me because then you'll actually be able to see the number go down a bit quicker. I'm going to have to eat again. Brilliant. So now my defense is leveled up to level 11, which basically means that I can withstand harder hits from creatures. My level also matters for that. So there's no point in having a really great defensive level, but actually just having a very low overall experience level. Also, my attack would start to improve each time I make a successful hit against a creature who is also able to hurt me. If the creature was too weak to hurt me, I don't really earn any attack points for hitting him. The other statistic that you can see there is HP, which stands for health points. And at the moment, my HP is increasing while I eat some food. The level 55 corresponds to how many health points I've got. And each time a creature hits me, health points get removed. If I hit HP zero, I would die. The maximum I can have at my current level is 120. If I keep eating cheese, I should get back to level 120. Or I can go and speak to another non-playing character. We met her in the first tutorial. She was called Carmen, and she healed me. So I'm just going to summarize for you again all the stats you can see here on this little panel. Here's my health points. You want to keep that pretty near the maximum. Also, you can see your health points represented as a bar above your player, which is green when you're doing well and red when you're pretty sick. Your attack level is represented here, and here are the points that you need to get up to the next attack level. This number next to my attack level times 20 corresponds to the defense of the weapon that I'm holding in my hand. It's attack 19, but I get one just for holding nothing, so it's 20 and all. I've just put it back in my hand, and you see the value go back up to 20. Also, the defensive points here, I've got an 11 base level, but also an 11 armor level. If I take off my armor and pop it on the ground, you'll see the number decrease. And now I'm going to put it back on. And the number has gone back up. 
There's my experience points, which increase when I kill a creature. If I have enough experience points, I level up. I need 77 more points to get to level 3. And then finally, there's my money. If I put my money on the ground, I'm going to put it under me to keep it safe, then I have no money in my bag. If I put it back, I've got some more money. So that's all. It's safe for me to leave the dungeon before I log out and say goodbye to you again. So I'm going to say goodbye as soon as I'm safe. In fact, because I'm sick, I'm going to eat something. I hope that you enjoyed learning about the levels. If you need any more information, there's absolutely loads on our wiki page. If you hit F1 from inside the game, then that opens up the manual. And from the manual, there's a lot more descriptions of the statistics and the levels that you can earn when you're playing Stentor. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.